Welcome to another episode of Business Beat with me, Odette. So everybody's looking for a job, right? And everybody wants their ideal job and everybody wants to be in a job, especially when you have unemployment rates that are sky high in South Africa. Today we're talking to somebody who was in a job and then decided to leave her job and take a leap into entrepreneurship. Sumeya, welcome to Business Beat. Thank you so much for having me, Odette. So why the leap from a job into entrepreneurship? I think it boils down to what you actually want to do. You can go to a job and you can get a salary, but you can never truly be happy. So I feel like, you know, for you to actually wake up in the morning and do something meaningful to you to make you happy. I have two boys and for me to get up in the morning and to be, you know, annoyed that I now have to go and do this job for this money it just wasn't working anymore and I felt like what if I actually did something that I love and that I believe in and perhaps I could make something more of myself and use more of my creativity than what my my job was actually allowing me to do. So you've created a stationary business in a world where everything is so digital why stationary? It's something that we use every day of our lives. A pencil is something that you don't even think twice about how it's made or how much it costs to make it. And yet you use it because you need it to plan your day. You need right. it to, to make notes of what you have up here. It can't always stay up here, right. of course. It's a physical product that gives me, it gives me so much joy. And planners help me plan my day. Like not everything has to be digital. There is something really awesome about tactile stationery. I'm a big believer in stationery, I like you. I like a, no a nice notebook. You know, when you walk into a meeting and you have an interesting looking notebook, when you're nervous, it becomes a talking point. It breaks the ice, you know. A lot of people would ask, why do you write with a pencil when you can write with a pen? Well, I think it's the motion of sharpening a pencil that takes the nerves away. It also just reminds you of your childhood a little bit, you know, in the work environment, you need to play a little bit. Mm -hmm. You don't always have the opportunity to be a kid, you know, and I think there's something tactile that connects us to our inner child that when you are in a creative space is so necessary, right? It is, and like you said, something about a pencil, like the smell of the wood, the feeling it, when it touches the paper, the sound is, is way more satisfying than if I logged onto Asana and mm -hmm. made my task list. Oh. Half the time I would forget to even log on to Asana, yes. but if I had my physical pro product in front of me, mm -hmm. jot down your notes, you're good to go. Like, And your stationery is really cheeky, which is what I totally appreciate. It's personalized. What inspires all the cheeky sort of anecdotal stuff that you have on your stationery. There's a part of me that really cares for things and for people and I'm extremely sentimental okay. about things. Like I love my kids so much. Like if I could have their names on everything, I would. So yeah, it, it stems more a lot from my own creativity, my own personality. And I felt like in a way, like working in the business world, people have a way of sometimes even unknowingly censoring you. Mm. But this stationery kind of gives you an outlet for that part of your personality, for your creativity, and that's what I love about it. I also think that it makes your workspace less vanilla. So let's talk about the manufacturing of these pencils. So they are embossed, and for, for those who don't understand what embossing is, it's when it's etched, almost, almost engraved into mm -hmm. the pencil, and then it's overlaid with foil. Mm -hmm and that the machine that you purchased is how old? It's in the 50s. Like, exactly. That's how old it is. And, and it's you, still going. It's still going, absolutely. It's still quite a manual process. And the thing that I found even more fascinating was that you purchased this because the business who actually had this went out of business yes. during COVID. So you saw this opportunity to purchase this very, very old machine that could still do really clever stuff mm -hmm. and make your product. Creative thinking is not something you can actually teach someone. Yes. It's something that comes and like, you use these things, they, they use them to do like quick runs of things, like yes. normal, like, you know, your big, your Marlin, whatever. Um, 
and stamping wires and stuff. And mm -hmm. I thought also like, I've seen this happen in the US and I was mm -hmm. like, not a lot of people are doing it in South Africa, why? Yes. It's so cool. I would like my name on a pencil. Yes. I would like a phrase that is dear to me. And I thought like, let me try it as well. And you'd be surprised how many people are like going for it. And it's extremely manual, but it gives me so much joy. Like when someone places an order, I'm like, that is so placing of orders, Yes. how are you marketing your business? Because of COVID, it's been a little bit difficult. It's also a small business, you've just started. Yes. So you don't have these big advertising budgets. How are you going about marketing your business? I have a business plan and I have many big ideas, but where, what the business plan has given me is a starting point and that mm -hmm. is on Instagram. So what I do currently is, like I've set up my email and stuff, we're currently working on the website. Um, people can purchase through our Instagram page. Okay. And I've been using the marketing tools on Instagram to really get to know my target audience mm -hmm. and see when they, they look at posts, what they like, what they react best to and kind of build it on that for them. So the phrases on your stationery, are they sort of ready-made stuff that you've come up with? Or if I want to order stuff and I have my own kind of words, words that don't even exist, like bongalicious, can I put that on my stationery? You are more than welcome to put that on your stationery. You can put whatever you want to on the awesome. pencils. I do have a standard range of stuff as well, like our planners and our cups and our notepads. Mm -hmm. They are quite cheeky, which I like. Um, but yeah, you can do whatever you want to with the pencils. That's There's amazing. Money. So you're catering currently to individuals as well as to corporates. Yes. I think these make awesome gifts because you can personalize. I love personalized stuff. Yes. Do you see this business expanding onto the continent? Yes, definitely. Also expanding in terms of being a mass producer okay. of pencils and being the supplier to you know, other people that want to do this. I would love to help you set up a business right. where I can you know, give you the stuff to go ahead and give you, you know, whatever you need to do to, to make something of it. But I definitely, I'd love to expand um, even internationally, it's it's something that is part of the, the major business plan. And is part of your plan going retail? So do you want to see your product in retail stores or do you want to see a Storm Avenue stationery store in a mall wherever you go? I would love to do both if that's possible. Okay. Like I would like to have some of my standard stuff in some of your big retailers, but I would love to have a standalone Storm Avenue store. So Maya, if you could give your inner child three pieces of advice, knowing where you are now and being a mother of children, where you aspired to one day be in the workplace, but now you find yourself in a workplace as an employer, what would the three pieces of advice be for the young Sumaya? Definitely, like, be more confident in yourself. Mm -hmm. You are so creative. You could have done this many years ago. And because I always felt like I was just not confident in my own skin, I thought nobody else would want my product as well. Turns out to be the complete opposite. Two, make connections, you know, just be yourself. Do what you believe in. Don't let anyone tell you what you need to do to succeed. Don't, don't, you know, you can take advice from people, but take it with a pinch of salt. Mm. Still follow your own dreams. Like, right. If I had done that even two years ago, I think Storm Avenue would have been massive. We would have probably been very well known by now. So there you have it, folks. If you thought there was no space for creativity in business, you couldn't be more wrong. Creativity is at the heart of every business. No, it's not necessarily marketing or accounting or legal or finance. It's the creative ones, the crazy ones, the ones who see the world differently that'll take your business this country, this continent, to the next level. So here's to the crazy ones. Until next time.